Oh, you shut off when you don't hear any noise. Oh, that was my uh, neighbor. He was a white elderly guy. He was the only one that had my back. Oh, when I walked out and my window fell, it sounded like a bullet came through it and busted, but it was just somebody threw a big rock through it. Some of those dope dealers that I had ran off. And uh, he was the only guy out of all 60 families or something here that came out there and stood by me until the, uh, I seen what it was. And then I went back in the house, made sure he wasn't out there. And uh, when the police came, he went back in the house, and, and that's all he needed to do. But I had seen the silhouette of a, um, somebody smoking a cigarette in a position where it was uh, about a block away, and I couldn't see his face, but knowing that that was him. Uh, that was the first time I dealt with him, and he got in his girlfriend's car, which lived in my apartment building, and uh, they went around the corner. I said, hey, police, that's them right there. And he said, did you see him actually brush the window? And I said, no, but he's the only one I've been having a conflict with, and uh, I told him I wasn't going to do no more drugs and stuff, and uh, that's, that was his uh, way of uh, trying to get me kicked out of my own apartment. So I told uh, Ben, the first landlord, and I've been here a while, that, uh, look, I'll pay for the window, and uh, which I did. And he charged me uh, pretty good for that window. I, uh, so I kind of suffered that month in and, and, and silence and uh, went on and ate it because I, I was the catalyst for that starting. So um, the only thing I... Uh, didn't like about being, I had some trouble with the boy's girlfriend, and I had some trouble next door with the, a girl, and he didn't want to give me their real name to get a restraining order. That was the Marines' little young girl. Um, but it turned out we are all right now. It was just a misunderstanding. But um, this this show that you hear now, now uh, or did you see, they got a, like a 300 foot wall built, like Trump was talking about, uh, he ain't gonna build that far. But they're inside fighting against these uh, ice people. And ice people, they don't get hungry, so they ain't gonna starve, so they can, they can wait you out. And then they got some giant ice people that uh, shoot the arrow and knock the whole top off of the um, guard shack. And, but they thought that they were uh, uh, unbreachable. And this is the part I always wanted to see, the ice people and the, the, uh, the fight against the, the, the wall. You were put on that wall for so many years of your life to get any respect. And you had it was almost like going to the army uh, as an uh, infantry. And you freeze it out there, you look it over the wall and years and centuries, nothing comes. It's just a reputation, a myth, a tale. And all of a sudden you see all these dead ice people riding on dead mammoth uh, elephants and dead horses uh, and walking up to this wall and just getting spikes and, and you know, going into the wall, going up there not worried about getting killed because they're dead. Games of Thrones. And, uh, oh, I'm at the interesting part, y'all. I'm gonna have to go. <laughs>